So good morning class. Before I introduce Elsie, let's put ourselves in a few presents. So good morning class. How are you today? Before you all sit down, we will have an energizer first so that you will feel energized. Hello everybody, how are you today? It's time to move your body and learn and play. Hello to my teacher, how are you today? I am gonna listen to what you say. Hello to my friends, how are you today? I am gonna share my toys with you today. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Lift your arms up, put your arms down. Lift your arms up and shake it all around again up. Put your arms down, lift your arms up and shake it all around. Bend to the left, bend to the right, bend to the left, bend to the right. Hello everybody, how are you today? It's time to move your body and learn and play. Hello to my teacher, how are you today? I am gonna listen to what you say. Hello to my friends, how are you today? I am gonna share my toys with you today. I hope everybody will have a good day. So, are you following the line now? You can now take your seat. So before we formally start our class, I want you to remember these things you need to follow. Got it? So these are our rules. First, always listen. Second one is be kind. Third, sit nicely. Or raise your hand when you want to answer. And six is help each other. And last one is be patient. So those are the rules that you need to follow in this classroom. So who can still remember what was our previous topic? So this way, okay. So let us give an impressive applause. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Wow. So before anything else, what is our meter today? What did you see around you? Did you hear a sound? What part of the body is used in seeing and hearing those things? So much for that. My topic for today is all about the sense organ. So the objective of this topic is to pinpoint the sense organ of the body. The second one is present the function of the five senses of the body. The third one is acknowledge the importance of each sense organ of the body. So what is the sense organ? It is a specialized organs that help to perceive the world around us. They are an integral part of our lives and are the only way that enables us to perceive the environment. So this, there are five sense organs and those are your kisses, nose, tongue, ears, and skin. And the five senses are sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. And the first one is eyes. Sense of sight. You see with your eyes. Through the use of your eyes, you learn how things look. And the second one is ears. Sense of hearing. Your ears let you hear sounds. As humans get older, their hearing abilities get worse. Your ears help you to learn how things sound. Sounds can be loud like an airplane taking off. Sounds can also be soft like the whispering of a friend. So the third one is the nose. The sense of smell. You smell with your nose. Your nose helps you to know how things smell. The fourth one is tongue. Sense of taste. You taste with your tongue. It helps you to know how food taste. And the last one is skin. Sense of touch. You touch things with your skin and your skin helps you to know how things feel. So this is the concept. So this is the concept of the human sense organ. And those are eyes, ears, nose, skin, and tongue. Eyes is for sight, ears is for ear, nose is the smell, skin is the touch, and tongue is to taste. So for our activity for today is you are going to match the pictures to the correct senses. So nose, it, eyes, hands, ears, and mouth. So for nose is for flower, eyes is for fire, hands is for 
account, Ears is to the right, and Tom is to the screen. So those are the correct answer in this activity. And for our interview group, we're going to draw a column, three columns, and the first column is we're going to draw the sense organ of the body. And the second column is you will name the sense organ of what you draw. And the third column is you give the function of each sense organ. So this is the first column, second column, and the third column. So this is the end of the number. So that's all for this class. This is finished during the school. You'll be a student and you'll learn what you can study college.